I have this set up with me. Let's look closely at what all do I have over here. Now you can see a red wire and a black wire, right? And at the end of it, you see, you see some sort of clips or leads where these are called alligator clips and they are attached to the two terminals of a small lamp. You can also use a LED for this. You can attach the alligator clips to the two legs of a LED. Or if you do not have an alligator clip, you can also wrap a wire around the legs of an LED. Okay, I also have this small battery with me and there is a positive terminal. You can see there is a negative terminal. And now I will bring the other ends of the red and black wire in contact with these terminals. Can you take a quick guess what would happen? Will the bulb light or will it not light? Let's see. Well, yay, the bulb does light. So as I touch the other end of the red and black wire to the two terminals of the cell, we can see the bulb lighting. Now, if I remove the insulation of, from one of these wires, we see, we see these thin copper wires, bundle of copper wires inside the insulation. So in order for the bulb to light, these very thin bundle of copper wires, they must be conducting electricity, right? Only then the bulb can light. Otherwise, why will the bulb light? So this activity shows that metals like copper, they can conduct electricity. And usually there is an insulation sheet around the bundle of copper wires. Now let's take a different, a different material. Let's take a steel wire. Steel is not really a metal in itself. It's an alloy, which means it is made up of many different metals. And let's see if the bulb lights when we use a steel wire. Well, yes, it does light. So this shows that even, even an alloy can conduct electricity, something that is made up of different metals. And this property of metals to conduct electricity is very useful. And the high voltage wires that you see around us, these, these wires, because of which we can use electricity in our homes, these wires are also made up of copper, sometimes even aluminum. But at the end of it, the main idea is that metals can conduct electricity.